Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome back to RimWorld Ascension, episode 30. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe. Mod list is down in the description if you want to play along. And with that, let's get into the episode. If you recall from the previous episode, we are under assault by 12 enemies, all of which are using melee weapons and armor. Now, if we look at this, only a couple of them are actually making their way towards us. The majority are making their way up towards Storch. Now, we are still going to dispatch these two over here to hold the line, although we probably could just send everyone else. We're going to have everybody who is not a dedicated melee soldier uh, go ahead and make their way in to the uh, in into the colony so that's four eyes the weir calhan and maze are all going to make their way into the colony where they can all make a stand if needed now storch is just gonna book it around to uh try to get inside the colony i'm gonna go ahead and have you come stand in the door frame All right, I uh, might want to fall back. Oh, and lit my wall on fire. Oh, of course you did. All right, you two go enter melee. You guys, uh, let's have four eyes go and put out the fire. Now the, <laughs> the majority of them are all running after Storch. Oh, that's terrifying. All right, we're gonna dispatch Maze over here to uh, help provide support for uh, Storch as he runs in. Let's go ahead and get these guys over here so that they can shoot without uh, shooting our own guys. Four eyes, no, get get back inside. Come on. There we go. Come on. Get in. We'll dispatch these two up. And we got another shield. And now you get to see the glory that is the double team. Now it looks like they split about equally. Four. Uh, okay, not equally. A lot of them are doubling up, actually. Uh, we'll go ahead and have these three set up in a back line so they can provide some fire support. Go ahead and switch over to your knife. You switch to your club. Who has the better melee skill? Storch. Storch also has the better armor. Storch will stand in the front. Uh, we might actually want to switch latch and Kata. No, no. There we go. And see, now they can only attack one at a time, so they have to form a queue effectively. And in that queue, we will be able to take them on one on one. Allowing us to have the advantage. Now, of course, the problem is they do appear to be lighting our base on fire. Not ideal. Murderous pugs as a quest, huh? 25 of them. No. Oh, Kata is down. Go ahead. And... Oh, okay. Uh, the weir... Grab. Okay, latch. Give it a second, and move up. Calhun is out of ammo. Equip the sword. Oh wait, why do I have Calhun go in there? You actually have armor. Calhun, go ahead and stand aside. 
Oh, and another raid. Slavers. Also coming at us with only melee weapons. And these guys have no armor. Huh. Oh, uh, apparently Lucilia is uh, lighting fire to my hay fields. That's annoying. Only should have to take down a couple more of these guys. Go ahead and equip that Steel Gladius. Four eyes, no. Alright, and they're retreating. Alright. Now, I do believe these guys are just straight up moving in. Go ahead and have these guys all start making their way over. Uh, four eyes, yeah, your job is just going to be to keep the fire off those walls down there. Alright, here come the hounds. That is going to burn through a lot of our crop, but that's alright. Alright, fire. Yep. Four eyes is going to deal with it. Let's see, uh, who is a doctor? Maze and Lucius. Both of whom are on the front line. Okay, Calhun. Calhun can doctor, I think. No, Calhun cannot. Huh. All our good doctors are, uh, preoccupied. Okay. In that case, we'll have the Weir here go and reload his harpoon. Yes, this is a bit cheesy of the game mechanics, but considering how outnumbered we are, I say it is necessary. Storch is down. Storch is down. Get Storch out of there. These guys are slavers. Go ahead and move up. Keep them locked in. Latch is gonna also... Oh, and now they are fleeing. Alright, looks like we knocked a couple down, though. Let's see, unwaveringly loyal. Good with animals, good with medical. Can't do most important jobs, though. Unwaveringly loyal, good at social, plants, decent at shooting. Congratulations, uh, Asseberg. You are going to get to be... Do Esseberg. You're gonna get to be the new slave. I believe Purple Rhino is going to bleed to death. Dead. Oh, there's a wolfhound there. Alright, yeah, I think the main thing we need to do now, though, is uh, put out the fires. There's a lot of fires going on. Yeah, I don't think we're saving a lot of the hay grass. I'm pretty sure that's just gone. Uh, Latch? Latch, I think you might want to go get medical treatment. Oh, wait, are you getting medical treat? Oh, you're not gonna die. Oh, well, looks like we might save a, a couple bits of hay grass. Latch has got a corpse obsession, of course. Well, we just defeated two raids in a row. Back to back. I think that's a new record for this, uh, this particular group of people. Oh look, we saved a couple pieces of hay grass. We saved 22 hay grass. Nice. A whole 22. Oh, you're not gonna die. Uh, go ahead and go strip them first. Strip them of all their gear. Finish off. There we go. Man, we got a lot of injuries. But, we did win in the end. So I'm going to count that as a win. Let's go ahead and make sure that we fill this with textiles. We got a lot of leather. Uh, let's see here. Necroctus. Go ahead and go tend to Calhoun. Colonist needs rescue. Which one? Latch. Collapsed. Probably due to pain, I presume. Wouldn't surprise me. 
Let's see, we have uh, two downed colonists. Uh, I don't really count uh, Jaleel here. They're going to be down for another 28 days still. An apparel cargo pod. What do we got? What is this? Is this an authority cap? It is an authority cap. I do believe that one of our jobs for ranchism wants an authority cap. Awoken Cowboy, the leader, wants a cap. Well, I'm gonna need to assign you eventually as the official leader of ranchism and not just the, uh, the moral guide. So we'll have to figure that out. I do believe all wounds have now been tended to, and it is now just a matter of actually healing. Oh no, we got an infect- Asaberg got an infection. Okay, uh, go and tend. Don't want our, uh, new pers pet prospective slave to be- to be arrested- to die of an infection. Let's see, Latch is still down. Cannot blame Latch. They are in significant pain and are malnourished. Which is also probably not helping. Uh, let's see, where is Maze? Maze, go ahead and feed. Yeah, I know it's not ideal, but we only got raw food. So, do we have anyone else who can cook to take over for a bit? Let's see, Maze can take over. Four eyes can take over cooking. Temporarily. Most excellent. Let's have them do that. Considering we are out of food entirely. You now we're making do with what we got. Let's go ahead and have Maze go plant. Never mind. Maze will not go plant. Looks like our rice field is almost done though, which is good because we are about to have another famine. Oh, that's where you're putting all the food. Right. Forgot the slaves get it first. Yeah, I got a few more building ideas, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and have them uh, finish up the defenses first, which actually it looks like they pretty much have. So in that case, we're going to begin construction on the uh, next building here, which is going to be a workshop for all of our crafting tables. It's going to be pretty simple. Just a box. Nothing fancy. Looks like we might get a singular growth of heel root before winter hits. And most of that is probably going to be used for all of our amputations. And there we go. Alright. A bunch of rice has been acquired. Latch, I know you want to sleep, man, but I need you to uh, cook. Yeah, we really just need to ramp up food production. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't a whole lot we can hunt that will provide any sort of substantial food. And, uh, we don't- we only have, uh, female buffaloes, so... Can't really do a whole lot with those, either. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, make sure we set these bills to drop on floor. I didn't think of this before, but it'll, uh, increase our efficiency if they do that instead of hauling it all the way over here have them just, just barely haul it. Uh, go ahead and butcher the, uh, the muffalo, please. And Asiaberg has been enslaved. Let's go ahead and just set this to four slaves. There we go. And uh, what are you good at? Not much. You're really good with plants, though. So, uh, I guess your job will be plants and another backup crafter. Not really a too terribly much you can do. Let's see, what gear do you have on? Uh, you have leather armor. Uh, I don't have anything else you can wear, so I suppose that will have to suffice for bit. Oh, right. I forgot. You have an infection. Oh, you're gonna die to that. Okay. Uh, strip him. 
strip him of that armor. If he is to die, do not let him die with his gear. And we can't amputate it, because it's his torso. And uh, I don't think you can live without a torso. I'm pretty sure a torso is, like, mandatory to live in. Uh, where is Maze? Maze is doing something. Uh, go ahead and plant some more rice. Now, in the internal field, preferably. As much as I want to grow the external field, the internal field is a bit more important. It's protected by a wall, after all. And, uh, you know what? Um, you know what? I think it's time we make some, uh, some more clothes for everyone. Now, I don't think we can make leather armor yet. Oh, no, we can. And it takes up the middle layer, which I do not believe the armor takes up. Uh, nope, it does. It takes up the middle and outer. Okay. Never mind on that, then. Uh, and we, in that case, let's just go ahead and make some basic clothes. Um... Uh, let's see. Do... Here we are. Just make a couple things of clothes. Let's see, how many colonists do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we'll just go ahead and, for the sake of ease, we'll just make ten of each. And Asperg has died. Alright, get his corpse out of there, please. Go weir. That is going to be your job. Get closer. Go ahead and haul that guy's corpse out. We're going to put a singular small shelf right here, right by the, uh, by the stove. And this one singular small shelf is going to be for storing wood. That way, Latch doesn't have to walk all the way over here to refuel. He can just grab it straight from right next to the stove. Got a whole bunch of shields, swords, all sorts of stuff. Also, we should probably close these doors. And we finally got another trader. Well, hopefully they're willing to buy a bunch of weapons, because that's what we got. Maybe they'll have some armor they can sell us. Let's see, what are you willing to sell us? You're willing to sell us some pigs, okay. Uh, you're willing to sell us another slave? Ugh, who's good in combat. And is a brawler. I might want to get this guy and then just get him to join us. Especially, dude is super passionate about, uh, punching people. And pretty passionate about shooting people. Uh, but not skilled. And he's good with plants. Okay. You tempt me. You know what? Yeah, no, I want this guy. I want this guy. He's good. He's good in combat. Uh, looks like we can sell off a bunch of our ammo, and that's about all they want. Let's see, they'll take our advanced component. Don't really need it. We'll take our singular component. Again, don't really have a use for it right now. They'll take our 10 plasteel. And if we sell them all of our ammunition... Ah, uh, just shy. I don't want to sell them Victus. Victus is good. And I definitely don't want to sell them any of our Muffalo. Mm. Well, in that case, looks like, uh, Anos, you do not get to join us. But we are going to get a bit of money. So, well, I'll take the money then. Uh, we do need money, so... No, we'll take it. For being a loot trader, they uh, didn't seem to want a whole lot of our loot. Ah, good. Kata is now beginning to uh, work away at the many, many outfits that we shall be needing. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put a wall-mounted torch right there. I think it's about time we get one. Start lighting up this uh, main building a bit more. Ah, looks like the workshop is complete. Let's go ahead then and, uh... No, don't put that there. Go ahead and haul over all of our workbenches. 
like so. And uh, also put in two torches to help light it up. And uh, also, just to make it look a bit nicer, put in a floor. So I think 80 might have been a bit optimistic. So let's go with uh, 30 meals instead. And there we go. A proper little workshop. Ah, now they're getting to work on deconstruction. Very nice. Uh, I do think I want to redesign the houses. Um, they're a bit small, I've, I, uh, I think, so. I think we're going to redesign them a bit. They're still going to be small. But I think we can make them just a little bit bigger. To provide just a little bit more comfort. I think we should also use wool, uh, these fur beds in order to maximize the uh, less heat that'll be required. We'll still put like a torch in there, obviously, but I think it'll be a bit better if they don't have to worry about getting hypothermia while they sleep. Now we could center the door, but I... Yeah, I think we'll center the door like that. We'll put a dresser over here. End table here. And uh, yeah, that should be all nice. Nice and neat. Don't think there's anything else we can add in. Unless we just want to put one of these in, but these don't provide any bonuses to beds. As you can see. They don't they don't do anything, they just look nice. So I think that's gonna be the general blueprint. And uh, we'll make sure we put in a nice wood floor as well. Uh, so we'll just remove these. Ah, wait. How big is this compared to the original house design? Well, okay then. Apparently I was in the right with the original design because it's, uh, it's only slightly bigger. Huh. Well, that means that we could make this smaller. Because I do like this design a lot more. Let's, uh, let's optimize it with a torch there. Yep, that'll work. All right, then floors, wood, like that. Yeah, I think this is a, this is a better blueprint. All right, so this will be the new house design. It's only slightly bigger than the current one, but is better. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. Okay. Uh, and as always... We shall focus on building these oh, one at a time. Now we have collected up all the wood, but we still need more wood. So we will need to go and chop more trees down. Uh, let's go ahead and start by cutting the trees down that are actually in our base. And uh, then I think we'll do this bit of trees up here since they're close. Yeah, we're gonna have to deconstruct these in order to make space for these much better, bigger houses, but uh, I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. And would you look at that, the first of our new shirts has been made, or at least the first one I've noticed. That's the second shirt that we've made. Don't know who got the first, but either way, that's still good. And the next house has been completed. I think we're going to go ahead and give this one uh, two storage, actually. Oh, he already had this one. <laughs> well, in that case, this one shall go to Calhun. We'll give this one to Latch. And this one uh, to McProctus. There we go. And now we begin work on the next one. 
go ahead and cue that up. I know you guys really want to deconstruct that, and I want it deconstructed too, but we need these houses built. They are important. It would appear we are officially out of wood. Unfortunately, uh, Maze is primarily trying to uh, plant the rice field, which is important, don't get me wrong, but uh, being out of wood is certainly not helping. And we have finished researching meat smoking, which I think is a perfect place to leave this episode. We've made a lot of progress. We took a lot of damage, but we didn't lose anyone. Not counting Asaberg, who we knew was going to die as soon as they got that infection. We are, again, constantly teetering on the brink of starvation, but this time around, maybe a little bit less. We built a new house, finally decided on a design that looks decent, and, uh... Oh, it's still considered rather tight. Okay, so I guess it's still too small for them. But whatever, it looks better. That's what matters. We did lose our hayfield, but that's not a, too big of a deal. So overall, I'd say it was a pretty successful episode. If you enjoyed, as always, like I said in the intro, please like and subscribe. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode.